Brasil. Once upon a time, there lived a diligent palm wine tapper who goes by the name Chinazo. He married two wives and had four children. His first wife, Mesoma, had an only child, her daughter, Adugo. And his second wife, Adako, had three children, two girls and a boy. Adako's first daughter was named Amaka. Her second daughter, Ifunaya, and her only son, Obinna. Although they all got along just fine, this wasn't the original family plan Chinazo had in mind from the beginning. When Chinazo was much younger, he had no thought of marrying two wives because he was of the belief that one woman was one trouble and two women double trouble. Besides, he used to admire the way men in his village who had one wife took very good care of their wives. In his opinion, they definitely had peaceful homes than the men who had two or three wives. But how did he end up marrying two wives, one may wonder. Chinazo was an only child of his mother and that was the reason his mother wanted him to get married early. He was about to go to work one day when his mother called him and said, Chinazo, my son, Nim. she began, you are not getting any younger. You are old enough to marry now. Why don't you get a beautiful girl to be my daughter-in-law? Eh? Mwamoke biko no. Oh? Nim, I have heard you. But please, you have to be patient with me. I don't want to bring a girl that I don't love, okay? When I find that special girl, I will marry her. He replied his mother. He was coming from the farm one day when he met Miss Oma, who later became his wife. Chinazo truly loved her for she was a kind-hearted person. They were head over heels in love with each other. She was one of a kind, as both young and old warmed up to her. And so it was easy for Chinazo's mother to accept her as her son's wife. They were so happy together as a couple, but all that didn't matter to Chinazo's mother. For as the days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and the months into years, Mesoma didn't bear her son a child. Hmm. I thought Mesoma was going to be fruitful. Though. Little did I know it was going to be like this. Ha! Huh. What is going to happen now? Shinazo's mother thought to herself. And so it was that over the years, she grew from being worried to greatly concerned. And from being greatly concerned to being aggressive towards her daughter. In you barren woman, why have you chosen to waste my son's time in this manner? Over the years, you haven't even had as much as a miscarriage. Look at you. She would sometimes scold me Oma. But mama, I am not God now. At the right time, Chineke Gazam. Mama, Chineke Gagozim. Miss Oma would often say in response to her mother in law's taunt, and then she would weep bitterly. But her mother in law could care less about how she felt. She kept on tormenting her as though doing this would make Miss Oma conceive forcefully. His mother's attitude notwithstanding, Chinazo loved his wife dearly. He would often console her and assure her that all will be well. <gasps> Miss Oma would often cry and pray to God. Jineke God, I, I cannot question you. I have full faith in you. I, I know you will honor my request and give me my own child one day soon. <laughs> it is well. Hmm? <laughs> Odima, <laughs> don't cry, okay? I am here for you, hmm? Obim. Nevertheless, 
On his mother's persistent insistence, Chinazo gave in and married a second wife. He didn't seem to have a choice at the time because even his beloved wife, Mesoma, had come to persuade him to listen to his mother concerning the matter. My darling husband, please do what Ne has asked you to do. Marry a second wife, otherwise she will say I have bewitched you indeed. That was how Adako became Chinazo's second wife. Some months later, Adako got pregnant and it was around this time that Mesoma's pregnancy became pronounced too. Apparently, at the time she was persuading her husband to marry Adako, Mesoma didn't know that she was already pregnant with her own child. And so it was that Mesoma gave birth to her child, Adugo, some months before Adako gave birth to her first daughter, Amaka. Mesoma was so glad when she gave birth to her baby because it meant that her mother-in-law will finally stop torturing her. Alas, she had a child she could call her own and people will not see her as barren anymore. She wasn't even angry that her husband now has a second wife. Rather, she was supportive and kind to her fellow wife seeing that she was pregnant at the time. Some years after Adaku had her first child, she had her second daughter, Ifunaya. By this time, Adaku had begun moving around with an air of pride, especially when she cites Mesoma. She would mock her senior wife because she had been unable to get pregnant again after having Adugo. And so, gradually, Adaku became the hostile and aggressive wife of the two. Most of their neighbors had started getting the impression that she was an arrogant woman for she bragged a lot about her being fruitful and all. I will show you that I am very fruitful when I shall give birth to another child after this one. True to her words, a year later, she gave birth to a baby boy and named him Ubina. But for the timely intervention of their husband, Adako would have frustrated Mesoma into depression for she had not been able to conceive after having her daughter. Moreover, Shinazo still loved his first wife more than his second wife, which was part of the reason Adako behaved the way she did towards her. This was how Shinazo became husband to two women and father to four children. Nonetheless, he had always been able to keep them together in peace and harmony, particularly his children. Mesoma resolved in her heart to be kind towards all her husband's children and treat them as one. Adako, on the other hand, pretended to get along with Mesoma. Miss Oma tried to raise both her daughter and Adaku's children with good values as the years went by, but Amaka, Adaku's first daughter, seemed to take to her mother's hostile and aggressive nature. More so, she was jealous of Adugo because she was everyone's favorite. Amaka would sometimes call her siblings aside and try to turn them against Adugo. Are you too dense or something? Can't you see that she's trying to dominate? Must you always listen to her? I'm your eldest sister. You should follow my own directives, not hers. Nai and Nime Soma always tell us that we are one. Obina retorted. Yes. Besides, Adogo is always kind to us. She's not harsh like you. Why won't we listen to her? Said Ifunaya in agreement with their brother. Amaka's rivalry against Adogo had begun since they were nine years old. One could say that it was majorly as a result of the influence of her mother. Adako was an embittered woman because despite the fact that she had given birth to three children, including a son, the son of that family for that matter, her husband did not love her as much as he loved her senior. The love between Chinazo and Mesoma continued to wax stronger. Therefore, Adako resorted to poisoning her children's mind against Mesoma and her daughter. But it was only Amaka that decided to follow in her mother's footsteps. 
Her younger siblings, however, were won over by Mesoma's kindness. Another reason for this rivalry is that Amaka felt that they were age mates after all, her being older by some months notwithstanding. And so it was that they grew up with their different personalities, Adugo being the good and kind-hearted sister, Amaka being the haughty and nasty one.